by 96.18. So we have a two pip spread. Now you have to, here's EFX and MB trading are a little bit different. Remember I said that that not all brokers charge a com, that not all brokers will not charge a commission. Well, the EFX company as well as MB trading, you are going to be able to deal directly with a bank. So you have a much narrower spread. In fact, you can see here, look, the euro is at, this is what's called a choice spread. Look at that. You can buy and sell at the same price. This is a very narrow spread. Now, let me give you an example. If we go over here, 90, let's see, it's 31.75 by 31.77. 31.75 by 31.76. So on the euro, you have one pip. On the pound, you have two pips. Now you have to remember, most brokers, most brokers, are going to trade three pips on the euro and five pips on the pound. You notice? You, can you see how much money they're making? So if you, if you look at the difference, if you're trading three pips on the euro, your broker is making two times of one mini lot is a dollar or two bucks. If it's a regular lot they're making two times ten dollars or twenty dollars now look at this there's three pips difference so you have three times a dollar equals three bucks three times ten equals thirty bucks so you can see that brokers are doing just fine okay you don't have to feel sorry for them they're making plenty of money just on the difference in the spread of what you could pay over here so now let's look at let's look at the difference, and we'll we'll just take a look at at a, uh, at mini lots. The if you trade with a company that has a commission, you have to know how to compare. So if you're trading a commission, you want to ask your broker. Don't worry about the cal They're going to have a calculation on their homepage. Forget about that. Don't worry about the calculation. Okay, focus on. Ask them, how much will it cost me to trade 10 mini lots? That's what you want to know. So if you're trading 10 mini lots, of the, you want, you, you, here's what you ask them. How much will it cost me to trade 10, 10 GBP USD mini lots? It's exactly what you, can, what you have to ask them. How much will it cost me to trade 10 GBP USD mini lots? And you know, let I, I, let's say they're they're going to tell you, I'll just use nineteen. Well, uh, nineteen. Where did I come up with that? Twenty. Let's just say they're they're telling you it's twenty dollars. Well, remember you're trading on a two pip spread. So if if you remember on on uh, uh, most other brokers, you're going to trade on a five pip spread. So the difference is three pips, right? So three pips times 10 mini lots times a dollar isn't that 30 bucks look at the difference you have to understand the math don't get fooled into thinking that just because you're not paying a quote unquote commission that you're coming away with less if you go with the broker that has a 5 pip spread remember if this is if you're trading on a 5 pip spread over here and you're trading on a two pip spread up here, you are saving ten dollars per trade, even if they charge you twenty bucks. So, so keep that in mind. You have to understand how that works. Okay, so enough said on that. I think yeah, it's it's a hidden cost that you have to understand and you have to deal with. Um, but it, when you know what you're doing and you can really compare dollar dollar for a dollar then you've got a, a a lot of power in your hands now i, I want to deal with i want to talk about uh, uh... something else a little bit here if let's say you're trading um, the futures contract now here's here's a common misconception if you're trading a futures contract and you're trading the, the british pound u.s dollar you're in your